Love and peace of mind do protect us. They allow us to overcome problems that life hands us. They teach us to survive. They teach us to live now. They teach us to have the courage to confront each day. Seagull A collaboration of vloggers and Rupert Jordan's English for Millennials. I live with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. John 14 verse 27 For thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. We are proud to present the Peacemaker. A birthday presentation. White Rose, with its scientific name, Rosa Hybrid Alba, is Irene's favorite flower. Irene or Irene. Irene.
Irene is originally from the Greek name Irene, which literally means peace. Irene was one of the Ori, or Ars, the goddesses of seasons. Irene is the personification of peace. She was depicted in an art as a beautiful young woman carrying a cornucopia, scepter, and a torso or riton. She is said sometimes to be the daughter of Zeus and Thermis and sister of Tyke and Eunomia. Irene was particularly well regarded by the citizens of Athens after a naval victory over Sparta in 375 BC, the Athenians established a cult for peace, directing altars to her. They held an annual state sacrifice for her after 371 BC to commemorate the common peace of that year and set a votive statue in her honor in the Agora or marketplace of Athens. The statue was executed in bronze by Sephasidotus the Elder, likely the father or uncle of the famous sculptor Praxiteles. It was acclaimed by the Athenians, who depicted it on vases and coins. On the other hand, in ancient Roman mythology, her equivalent was Pax. Pax in Roman religion is the personification of peace. She was probably recognized as a deity for the first time by the Emperor Augustus, in whose reign much was made of the establishment of political camp. An altar of Pax Augusta, the Arapaches, was dedicated in 9 BC in a great temple of Pax, completed by the Emperor Vespasian in AD 75.